Payback, short movie review. Porter is a thief. Uh, banks, payrolls, that kind of thing. When he robs 140 grand, he finds out that his partner needs 130. And as the partner Val Resnick did not anticipate Porter being willing to give up that much, he backstabs him and leaves him for dead. And months later, Porter returns and he wants his money back. Just the 70 that he was, you know, his cut, his half, that's all. But the 130, they've gone towards a crime syndicate, and Val's gonna have some trouble getting it back, but Porter's not taking no for an answer, so over the course of this, he has to fight his way up the food chain and get, you know, find some way to get his money back, and as he causes a ruckus, because he's not necessarily the most subtle of guys, as he beats up and tortures his way up the food chain, and towards his money. Crooked cops find out about it, the Asian gang whose payroll that he helped steal find out about it, and yeah, the crime syndicate itself is gonna try to defend itself against his wanting his money back. This is a very classic sort of neo-noir with just razor-sharp dialogue, every line brimming with snark and cynicism. Every character in this world, in this movie, in this very grimy and gritty environment is a hard ass. And yet there's actually still, you know, sort of, I don't know, nuances to them, I guess. You know, some of them are like really obviously bottom feeders. You know, you got the sadists, you know, his, his partner, his former partner Val Resnick, Greg Henry, I think, is just this real nasty sadist that you just really want to see something bad happen to, you know. There's a pretty good amount of violence in this movie, and it's the kind where you really feel sympathetic towards the person it's happening to. Mel Gibson is perfectly cast. He really has that gravelly voice, and both in his dialogue and in the occasional narration in the film, he just really utterly hits the note for that. He has a sort of love interest in the character played by Maria Bello, who's a sex worker that, you know, they used to have a, I don't know, working relationship, I suppose. They knew each other. And, you know, she's actually a pretty good character as well, a strong female character, and they have an interesting relationship. The yeah, the film has a lot of twists and turns to really, you know, keep it moving, keep it, keep it interesting, you know, and it really works. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.